I swear that's great, Miss Great, Miss Great. You look into my eyes, you can see what I see. If you can say the world won't be the same without me, then we call that great, right, Miss Great. And that's a blessing. But wait a second, look, while we on the subject, let me ask a question. Hello everybody, welcome to the Uzi Sports Show, Jared Veluzzi here, and on today's show, we will be listing the top 10 athletes in Long Island High School Sports. It'll be the seniors from this past school year, and a few juniors did crack the list. Very interesting, and of course, before we get to the top 10, and even the honorable mention, I just want to say that the four sports here that I'm basing this off of is football, basketball, baseball, and of course you have Long Island, lacrosse. So now, with that being said, let's get into the honorable mention. And my first honorable mention guy is one of the best basketball players on Long Island. And it's Andre Snowdy from St. Anthony's. He was straight up dominant inside. At six foot six, he was a complete force. But he was also a point guard too for the Frogs. He had some amazing passing ability. He averaged around six assists per game. But his ball handling skills and just out-athleting kids, really in the end, leading St. Anthony's to a Catholic high school basketball crown. And another guy on this honorable mention list is another Catholic school kid. It's Jordan DeLucia from Kellenberg. And for the Firebirds football program, they went to the AA title, of course, he also shot on the championship. But DeLucia showed that he was one of the best athletes on the island when he played against the two top football teams in New York City, against Cardinal Hayes and Christ the King. DeLucia dominated over 200 yards on the ground against each of those opponents with high Division I recruits on each team. DeLucia really balled out. He's definitely one of the best athletes on the island. And my last honorable mention, this kid was extremely close to being a co-number 10, and he, a stud of a baseball player, and a really good football player as well, Idris Carter from Roosevelt. He committed Stony Brook for baseball, and some MLB teams have expressed interest in drafting him, but what he did on the football field was also pretty special. At the quarterback position, he made some amazing throws, but his running ability, he killed teams with his legs. He wasn't afraid to lower the shoulder either, and just an amazing athlete to round out this honorable mention. So now into the top 10, and as I mentioned, there were a few juniors who could make this list, and at number 10, Javian Allen. He was a junior a year ago, and he will be the best football player on Long Island next season. Allen, he could do it all, offense, defense, special teams, all three phases of the game, and he is an extremely hard hitter. He is not afraid to lower the boom, but he just made a ton of plays, a bunch of interceptions. He scored a lot of touchdowns a year ago. He's the most complete football player on Long Island going into the next season and one of the best on that Freeport team a year ago that went undefeated. And now we go to number nine. And this is one of the most underrated football players on Long Island and one of the best lacrosse players in the nation. We go to Manhattan High School, it's Aiden Mulholland. And we talk about his skill on the football field first. Extremely underrated. He made some unbelievable plays. He did it at running back, but at wide receiver, he made some unbelievable catches, absolutely mossing some kids. But he made a ton of plays all year long for Manhasset. But then we go to the lacrosse field, and he's one of the best players in the nation for a reason. He showed it all last spring. Obviously, there was no season this year, which was unfortunate, but his sophomore year, really dominant. He's the second junior to make this list. And now we go to number eight. And this is one of the best football players on Long Island that some people say that they've seen in a while just how dominant he is. It's Hugh Keller from MacArthur. He ran for over 2,000 yards, a bunch of touchdowns. He did that linebacker as well, destroying some kids. But he was also a lacrosse player. He's going to the Cornell for lacrosse. But his best asset on the lacrosse field is his athleticism. He's just bigger, faster, stronger than a whole ton of kids. And he's not afraid to bulldog. He's just bouncing off of him, really, if you take a look at these highlights here. But what he does in the football field and what he does in the lacrosse field is just bigger, faster, stronger. Those three key words for Keller. Now we move on to number seven on the list. And it's going to be Dan Valori from Plain Edge High School, the top quarterback on Long Island when it came to arm strength. And he made some unbelievable throws. Definitely the highest recruited football player on the island. He's committed to Michigan. And he led Plain Edge to an undefeated season, destroying everybody. But not only did he do it with his arms, he did it with his legs. He destroyed a really good Sayville team in the championship with help from his teammates, of course, but he made some great throws. He had an unbelievable run hurdling a guy and also trucking another. But Dan Villari, one of the best athletes on Long Island for sure and one of the best quarterbacks I've seen since Jack Cohen back in 2016, I believe. Now you go to number six on my list, and it's going to be Brock Murtha from Sayville. And you look what he did on the football field this past fall. Straight up unbelievable, two-way stud. He was probably the best receiver in Suffolk County in some people's eyes. 
but he was also an animal on defense, a really hard hitter. But football is just one side of Murtha. He is the best baseball player on Long Island. He had an unbelievable championship performance giving Sayville the LIC. He's a great hitter and the consensus top baseball player on Long Island. And he was close to winning the Hanson. If Sayville wins that LIC, he might have won the Hanson Award for being Suffolk County's best football player. Definitely one of the top athletes here on Long Island. At number five on my list, it's the best basketball player on Long Island and one of the best in the country, actually. It's Andre Carbello from Long Island Lutheran. And if you look what he did this past season on the court against some of the best in the country, Carbello, he put on a show. He put up some unbelievable numbers, but what he's really known for is his passing ability. Some freaky court vision, dropping dimes left and right. And he had some amazing handles as well. Just one of the best point guards in the country. He's going to do great things over there at Illinois. Definitely one of the top athletes here on Long Island. And we look at number four, it's actually going to be one of Curbelo's teammates. Because Zed Key was a grown man playing high school basketball. At around six foot nine, I believe, the forward just dominated in the paint. And every game I watched Long Island Lutheran play, Zed Key, it felt like he was the strongest player on the floor, just muscling people left and right. And Key, definitely one of the top players on Long Island. And the Ohio State commit's going to do some unbelievable things at the next level. And number three on my list, it is one of the quickest guys I've ever seen on a high school lacrosse or football field. It's going to be Xavier Orlon. And we'll start off with his lacrosse ability. And as you see him making a player fall over the net in that highlight, his shiftiness is just different. And his stick skills is unbelievable. He hit over 70 goals his junior year. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him play the senior year because of everything that's going on. But Orlon, unbelievable on the lacrosse field. He was going to be UNC originally until everyone realized how good he was at football. Cue the football highlights. Arlon, the master at making people miss. I mean, yeah, he played Division IV football just because of how small his school was, but Arlon's shiftiness was on a different level. It felt like nobody could touch him his junior or senior year on the football field, and Navy took notice. Arlon's going to be playing both sports, football and lacrosse, at the next level for Navy. It's something special. And Arlon, he runs a 4-4-40, and he knows how to make defenders look really silly on the field. And at number two, it's going to be, some people say, a generational player for the sport of lacrosse. It's going to be Brennan O'Neill out of St. Anthony's High School. And some of the stuff he does on the lacrosse field is just not normal. Some unbelievable highlights. And if you play lacrosse, you know who Brennan O'Neill is for these reasons right here. Just unbelievable plays. And he's just bigger, faster, stronger. And his stick skills... He's unbelievable, student of the game completely. But what really caught my eye about his athleticism was he didn't play football his junior year. And a couple games into the senior season, everyone says Brendan O'Neill is playing football for St. Anthony's in their fourth game of the year. And the Friars, they decided to put him at the end. And O'Neill played unbelievable against Christ the King, the top, one of the top teams in New York City. And also having a sack against Stepanak. O'Neill is a complete force on the D-line. Just stepping in, and he showed that he was one of the best athletes in New York. After not playing the first couple games in the football season, not going to anything in the summer, just going in there and dominating on the football field. And of course, as I mentioned before, a generational player in the lacrosse field. We're not going to see a player like Brandon O'Neill ever again in high school lacrosse. And now we finally get to number one on my list, and the best pure athlete on Long Island has to be Jordan Riley from Brentwood. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Jordan Riley, I'm going to stay staff for you guys. Zion Williamson's vertical, 45 inches. Jordan Riley's, 43. Now let's take a look at the highlights. Riley, get that out of here. The definition of jumping out of the gym here on Long Island. And I refer to him as Mr. Entertainment because every time I watched this kid play, he did something special. I mean, he's the best dunker here on Long Island. He gets really creative with some of them, as you see here. And Riley, he's just a freak of nature. The best athlete. He holds some ACC offers for basketball. And he's one of the best athletes in the nation, if you really think about it. Jordan Riley takes my number one spot. And everybody, that was my top ten athletes here on Long Island for pretty much every single sport combined. And I'm Jared Blues. I hope you guys had a fun time watching. Have a good night, everybody.